Hello everyone, another engineering test video. Today we are in Mercury Star Runner. Mercury Star Runner is one of the ships where engineering is fully or partially implemented. I take my helmet off, it's left alt H. And let's open the big ramp in space. Air would now get pushed out and most likely would push the player with it, but nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, so this is not an atmospheric room system yet. We are in space, I'm standing at a big ramp, no helmet, and I'm totally fine. Yeah, so I guess atmospheric room system has to wait. Let's close the ramp again. Here we have our components and CHG in Servistem put all components side by side. You have two coolers, you have two power plants, but they are so close to each other, it's very likely that when one gets damaged, the other one gets damaged too. What about redundancy, Chris? No one would make a ship like this. Engineers have some pride. Okay, let's damage our components. I hear something, but I don't see fire, but I hear fire. Okay, one of the ships that doesn't have visible fire, but I can hear it. Doesn't help me though, I need visible fire. I want to have fire. Open the door to space and see if fire gets extinguished. No, this is pointless. I don't have fire. I have to use a different ship. We are now in a Spirit A1. She is done for engineering too. Let's take off our helmet. No more helmet. And open the big ramp in space. Yeah. Air is not rushing out, we have no helmet, we are still totally fine. Let's open components, here we have power plant, coolers and shields. And again, side by side. So very likely if one component gets hit, the other components are getting hit too. And if one component starts to burn, it's very likely the other components are burning too, because fire spreads. Did CHG even spend one second to think about redundancy, to think about safety? My guess is no. Artists put components wherever they could find a spot. Let's see if we can get fire. Nothing. I guess I have to spawn again in Asgard. So I doubt that Spirit E1 is actually made for engineering yet, but CRG has her on the list. We are now again in Asgard. Let's deactivate shields. shields I know that I had fire in Asgard yesterday. I got one comment. Yeah. Ships don't lose air when you open the ramp in space because of their shields. No, that's not true. Only a very few ships have air shields. Asgard does not have air shields. And shields are now off. Yeah, nothing happening. <laughs> this is not an atmospheric room system yet. CRG just assigns air pressure and temperature to rooms or what they call rooms, no matter if a door to space is open or not. And no matter if a door between different rooms is open or not. Let's close it again. 
put on our helmet. And shoot some components. Cooler. Power plant. And once again, all components are side by side. Even if you have multiple components, let's say two coolers, two power plants, two shield generators. In a lot of ships, those are still side by side. Which is of course a bad idea when it comes to redundancy. Okay, let's shoot them. Okay, now we have fire. Yeah, didn't get any fires in the other ships I tested today. Let's see if we can put the fire out by opening the ramp and the side door. Side door open. Ramp open. And I will stand in the door to keep it open. Does the fire now go out? We are in space. Doors to space, ramp are open. Does the fire now get extinguished? We should lose our atmosphere. Actually, <laughs> if this would be any halfway real, we would have lost our atmosphere already. There should be no more air inside this ship. Yeah, look here, this is, we are in space. <laughs> and the fire still keeps burning. Okay, this is now really, really pointless. I think engineering can add a lot to the game and can be very interesting and very fun. But once again, CRG goes for lowest possible effort. We don't even have a room system yet, which is really, really silly and crazy. Yeah, this fire should be out a long time ago because doors, door to space and ramp to space are wide open. There shouldn't be any oxygen, any atmosphere left in this ship. And even if someone says, yeah, the ship can replenish the atmosphere as quickly as the atmosphere gets lost to space, this would be an enormous storm <laughs> inside the ship, but there's nothing happening. It's very calm. Yeah, fire is still burning. Let's put out the fire, the fire extinguisher. Yeah, I don't know why CRG goes for a very complicated gameplay when in the end they don't even do the bare minimum basics. Why even try to have fire on board? Why even try to have engineering? Okay, now fire is out. When it's done so poorly, we are in year 14, CRG is at over one billion dollars in funding according to Carl Jones. CRG was already at one billion in January 2025. Yeah, this is pointless. There are just invisible walls. When you cross this wall, you are in space, no atmosphere, and you die. When you are inside this invisible wall, you take no damage. Helm is off again. I step forward in small steps. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, and now I'm in space, and now I'm suffocating. This ship doesn't have air shields, and normal shields are off. Am I disappointed? No, I'm not disappointed anymore because this is CIG. CIG always goes for lowest possible effort, and CIG cannot even do what very small indie studios with far less money and far less time are able to do. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. 
Okay. <laughs> I want to try again. Taking helmet off and look. That's us. <laughs> Sometimes this game is a horror game. <laughs> okay, let's take the helmet off. <laughs> it's Halloween. <laughs> okay, that's too good. <laughs> and ham it back on. I want to show you the Valaka tank. It's actually quite huge, but of course it has no use at all. It's just hanger decoration fluff. You can do nothing of it. You cannot even shoot at it. Oh, you can. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, you cannot destroy it, but you can move it with bullets. Okay. <laughs> Nothing in this game has a mass. Everything has a mass of an empty paper bag. Okay. I didn't expect this. <laughs> Not because our physics code is terrible, and in fact, it's great. Hey, you're still here. You might want to join me on Twitter or on Blue Sky.